Everybody still with us? Everybody doing okay? Y'all need to get up, stretch something? Y'all good? Okay. So before I bring up this next performer, I really have to say that this is one of like the most flyest, amazing women I've ever had the pleasure of meeting at Mount Holyoke. We're gonna call up Tracy to the stage. Just to remind you, there are mocktails over there in the fridge. So go help yourself. I think the pinion colada is pretty good. So I'm in this thing at Mount Holyoke called Intergroup Dialogue. Cool. You guys should go check it out. It's like a really great, great space. And um, yeah, go talk to them. <laughs> So this piece is entitled, Internalized Oppression. The world like a fist, my fist like a hand around the world, not wanting to let go, let go, let go, internalized oppression. When the world's creaking on your shoulders and you feel the creaking and the cracking and it slips and slithers like dirty lies that manipulate themselves into truth. When an ABC, American-born Chinese, turn to those, those Chinese immigrants over there and say, damn, they're too Chinese, and breaks her tongue with her broken Chinese and breaks her parents' heart silently as her heritage is silenced and the pumas and gap jeans made in China speaks for her. For her free-flowing assimilation marked their jagged cuts on her, her story, her parents' story, the tongue with which they speak their story. It slinks and slithers deep inside you, calm and cunning. You don't even realize the roots that run wild, around and around, tear you apart from deep inside out. When she's lying her chin on her desk at 4 a.m., the stale computer glow drowns out her depression, loneliness. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Pulses along her temples, along with, life fucking sucks, but it doesn't really. In my expensive liberal arts education and food in my stomach and roof over my head, what's wrong with me pulses and rips her body and appetite apart into something barely recognizable. And her colonized, objectified, consumerized, vandalized, dehumanized body surrenders, rips, forgets that she's not alone. Sleep seeping so silently with an invisible wispy trace that evaporates around the wound, it sinks, it sinks deeper, so deep that it's shifted the lens, lens looking out to the constructed truth and constructed path that leads to dead ends. When Asian Americans leave the Middle East behind and conveniently say, that's not us, that's not us, we're apolitical, not about controversy, and the memory of North Korea and Vietnam die a little bit, because it's denial all over again, the suppression of the voices of comfort women, innocent families, soldiers on the ground, farmer, farmers in the fields, all over again, all over again, marked by US imperialism under the mask of, we'll save you, democracy, all over again. And Asian Americans don't hesitate to recite the refrain, we can't rock the boat, we won't rock the boat. That's not us, so leave us alone. When the Middle East gets disowned by Asian America and our lingering ancestors cry a little more, because yes, yet again, Yes, yet again, even with people on the mics, on TV, recite, never again, never again. It seeps into our hearts and minds, seeps so quietly through successes of not-so-objective technical sciences and conscious, blinded financial fields and six-digit figure jobs that tie our hands and seal our souls to TV and marketing, because yes, we're the consumption gorger who buys into our own oppression. The quiet success with the ceiling floats uneasily in the visible air. We can see up and through, but our vision is blurred by the oily glass while our feet reach down, stepping on the shoulders, sometimes faces and broken backs of our mothers, sisters, brothers, and fathers, sometimes getting the boost, sometimes clam clambering, never looking down, never looking back. What are the voices we listen to? What are we saying inside? Don't let the motherfucking self-hatred eat you alive. Empower, trust, dig deeper, for real.
Yeah.